What's up? All right, we're going to try to get the sub -alange. We're going to pull it with the tractor all the way whoop, whoop, that way. And then we're going to roll her back in to right here. We're going to park it right here next to the old Ford. And I'm going to jack it up. We're going to drop the gas tank down and uh, see if we got any bad hoses, which I'm probably betting that there is. All right, time to sweat my butt off. All right, Joshua was supposed to be out here to help me because I need somebody to steer it, but more than likely, he forgot about helping me.
shit. Hey, some damn help. Whew. Getting too old for this shit.
quite a, an ordeal. Uh, I'm glad Joshua came out and helped. Oh boy. They say working on projects is fun. Holy cow. That was quite a ordeal just to getting that on there. So now we got it up on ramps. Now we can drop that gas tank down. Look for uh, suspecting that there's probably a uh, dry rotted hose on top. And then I got the new fuel pump in. Uh, they sent me a new one. And uh, I did check it and it works. So uh, I think it's about beer 30. Well, I have managed to the last two weeks, I have changed, not changed, I have dropped three gas tanks out of three different vehicles now, changing fuel pumps. Of course, we're not changing a fuel pump on this one. We're, oh, we're going to check for dry rotted gas lines so I am not looking forward to this that looks like gonna be two straps we'll drop this dude down hopefully I can drop it down just kind of low, low enough where I can look up in there uh, what am I gonna say I had to go in the shop and cool down it's hotter than crap outside man we're kind of in the shade now, so. so let me go grab some tools. Actually, let's crawl in. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Oh, we got up in here. Oh, looks like we got a probably 11 sixteenths, or usually they're 5 eighths and 11 sixteenths. So we'll grab some wrenches and. Uh, socket, and I need my little uh, transmission um, jack. Um, got the airbag, so we need to take those springs out and put my airbags in. Why is this? Seems like this camera's like really close. Wish I can zoom back a little bit more. But. You can kind of see the, the block I built up there. It's pretty solid. I'll, uh, I'll wire brush it and give it a good paint job. You know, I was supposed to paint all this shit when I installed it 20 years ago, and I never did. Uh, what else was I going to do? No, uh, we got to get the other fuel pump put on. Which, that won't be that big a deal. But mainly want to do this gas line real quick. Let's go get some tubes. Man, I got... I got... Look at that. Man boob sweat. That is so freaking hot out here. Whew. Let's go up in here. There's my baby. Look at her. Yeah, she's... She's doing good. She's in the nice... 84 degrees in the shop. She's enjoying the weather. Let's see what we need here. We need a... Actually, let's go this one right here. Nope, wrong one. Uh, let's see. Let's do 11 sixteenths and a 5 eighths. Uh-oh, my 5 eighths is missing. Huh. Man, I'm going to have to get a hold of the guy... Who's been in my toolbox? I guess it's only been me. Um, uh, you know, I wonder if it's three quarter too. My three quarters missing. What in the hell? Where are all my tools disappearing to? I mean, I, I'm pretty good about not putting shit up. I mean, 
Wait a minute, so it is my bolt. All right, well, 11 sixteenths. I don't think I need the five. I'll bring the five eighths too. What the hell? Let's bring it. Um, what else do we need? Uh, impact. We can just use the old cordless. Um, go to my go kart bag. There we go. You always got to. So you check the battery. Oh. It's got two bars, so you naturally have to go. Yep, it works. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, transmission jack. Oh, we need some extensions. Uh, so let's just grab a 5 8 that I have over here. Um, transmission jack. Oh, extensions. Do we want... How long do we want? I don't want that long. Probably, that's probably too long. That's probably just a little too long. Let's get maybe something like that. Let's grab maybe a couple of these. Um, let's just bring a ratchet too. Well, let's just, you know, just let's just fill the old pockets. Pockets up with all kinds of tools, you know. That's what you got to do. Uh, transmission jack. What are you doing over here? Soaking up the AC. Alright. So let's just knock everything over. That's what you gotta do. It's on wheels, so let's just kick it. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Kick it all the way to the door. Um, I need a half inch ratchet for that. This is my 3 H door. Let's go to the half. Uh, should just need that dude right there. Let's grab an extension too. You should never know. Now when you put an extension on and everything, you, you also got to go like this. I don't need to do that because that, that's dude, you know, on no, my luck that thing will sling off. Hit the charger, and I'm going to be one pissed off sucker. I won't be mad at myself. I'll be mad at that damn half inch ratchet coming loose. Alright, back in the heat. I need to get me a uh, something to lay on. Uh, you gotta see. Yeah, you guys can't see shit. You guys can't see shit, man. Maybe something like that. Hell, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe let's go back. Let's go back further. Oh, there we go. What about that? Try something like that for now. Get a couple of little street signs. They make good little workstations. We're going to use it for our transmission jack to kind of roll around on. Okay. Probably need to turn it this way. No, probably need to turn it the other way. Yeah, I'm already dirty. Might as well just crawl underneath here. And now I'm going to get something because I don't want rocks up my back. Oh, I did buy, uh, I bought some, uh, a whole tent, uh, pre-cut 
tent for my Suzuki since it's uh, running pretty decent now. Um, I'm gonna go in. Uh, um, what am I trying to say? I'm gonna do a video of how to screw up putting on tent. I've never done window tent before. Oh. I'm going to play around and see if I can do a good job. If I do a good job, i got a bunch of other cars I can tint the windows on. Somebody was like, oh, that's cool, then you can do mine. I was like, uh, no. No, this is just for me. I don't work on other people's cars. I get tired of the old sad stories of, oh, I can't. All I can pay you is this. Well, I don't do that no more. I get dirt in my eyeballs. All right, let's uh see if this thing will zip off. Yeah, I used to work on cars a lot for people, and I enjoyed doing it. But then I had a couple that kind of ruined it for me. So. It's a shame that it takes a cup, one person to make you not want to do it no more. Okay, so it's spinning up top. Let's get the five-eighths five wrench up there. Okay, well, that broke loose really easy. And I'm hoping that gas tank is on there. Feels pretty solid. Okay. So I figure I'll just work on my own stuff and worry about my crap. Less stress. Ah. Like how that's doing that. We're gonna use a wrench on it. Almost need to unscrew it from the top, not the bottom. I told my dude just use a wrench. I should have put safety glasses on so I don't get all this dirt in my eyeballs. But that would make too much sense to do something like that. So I just close my eyes and let all the shit fall in my ears and my hair. See what we got going on here. Oh. Shouldn't be that much gas in it because I don't ever fill this thing up. Can't afford to. Alright, it's trying to trying to fall out. Uh, I can weasel my way up in there to kind of look. hand up in there. Oh, you know, this had an electric fuel pump in the tank. And I've heard you know, that's what I should have done. So, you know, I I'll get this camera set up. So I playing around on the old you can see up in there, there's that line. 
It feels a little dry rotted, but not that bad. Not, not like what I was thinking. Oh, that one just broke off. No, I didn't break off. That's a vent. That's to the rear end. All right. Now, I don't know if you guys can see me, but... Huh. Huh. I had a thought. What was I going to say? Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. I was doing some research. Apparently, the uh, EFI factory fuel pumps... Uh, I guess you can actually run them onto a carburetor, from what I heard. Um, I haven't tried that. Maybe I, maybe I slept and dreamed it, and it really not true. Need to do more research, but I almost should have put 12 volt power to the factory electric fuel pump because this was a fuel injected 350 years ago and uh that'd been kind of cool because that would have saved me from having to unhook that or cut that uh fuel filter out and put a 12 volt electric fuel pump there hey, i'm rambling Anyway, it's already done and over with, so we're, I'm going to get up in here and see if I can figure out what line is rotten and what needs to be changed, and I will let you know. Uh, see you in a bit. All right. Well, you can see I put the gas tank back in. So, uh, good news. The fuel lines are braided. They're braided lines, so there's nothing there. The only uh, rubber hose that was up there was the vent line, and it was still good. So I made a uh, I made an executive order. How do you say that? I am so tired. Executive order. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap. So. I put the gas tank back in. We're going to go ahead and drop the old transmission jack down. We are done with it. So let's go over there. Um, over there. And uh, let's get the new uh, electric fuel pump put on. Um, the more I think about it, I think that dirt and crap that was in the new fuel filter... I hate to say it, I think that was my fault. I don't think it was actually the gas tank. Uh, I wasn't thinking, but as I realized that it's not the tank, there's something else wrong. So I'm starting, my little, my little brain starts moving and trying to figure out, all right, so what the hell is going on? That electric fuel pump that I stuck on there, the temporary one, okay? I've been using that to pump old gas out of tanks, and the last time I used it was to pump out all that old gas and all that nastiness out of the Suzuki, okay? I stuck it on there, and I don't, I didn't purge it. So whatever it was in there was still in there. And when I hooked it up on here, it shot it all straight up in there. So all that nasty crap that came out of that Suzuki tank went to my fuel filter. Oh, I'm an idiot. Dummy, dummy, dummy. So, got to get a new fuel filter. But the new fuel pump does work. So, we're going to go ahead and get it installed. Oh. Yeah. This is what happens. My life never goes to plan. Let's do it. Alrighty. Here's all my tools. Don't know 
if that's all the ones I need. I need this to be turned the other way. So now we got jacked up here, but I need the front to be jacked up. But, oh, well. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but uh, I got Joshua's exhaust, so we got to do his exhaust on his truck, too. Uh, I got to get back on to working on his truck, because, you know, he's 14, and he's going to be driving uh, just a couple of years. All right. There's just no good way of doing it. You guys probably can't see shit. Sorry. There ain't much I can do about it. Alright. I need to... I need to unhook the gas line. Shit, I forgot to go get the fuel pump. Oh, man. What a day. I'm gonna smell like gas. I'm gonna get gas all over me again. Should have brought me a rag. Well, actually, there shouldn't be any gas coming out because we're not pumping. Yeah, okay, good. Alright, I think a half inch wrench. Uh, Oh, damn boulder right in my back. Mm. You know what? I bet damn battery may be dead because I left the key on and the electric fan was running the whole time. I do have a relay. I need to hook up to that electric fan. Man, I got a relay for the fuel pump eventually, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, fuel pump is off. Okay, there's my ground. Over here. Now what do I need? Oh, I need that bolt. I need that bolt. I need to cut this wire. I'm going to cut the wire up kind of high. Ouch. I'm going to do the same thing. Keep that, that ground high. Sock those two together. Sorry, I just talked to myself. Obviously, that pump is no good. Just need to throw the damn thing away. But I won't. I'll probably put it on the shelf and then go try to hook it up on something and then be stranded again and have to call for help. You know. That'd be the right thing to do, I guess. Alright. I think we'll get that electric fuel pump. Oh. Get the fat ass out of here. Yeah. Or I guess we can just run these. I guess we can just run these new bolts that come with the fuel filter. Yeah. Well, we're just going to make sure this works and then I'll drill drill a hole for the bottom. All right, now we're just going to tighten this up for now. That should be a good ground. We need to hook up our power wire.
crimpers. Been using these little uh, or shrink wrap with solder in the middle. I know how to solder, but sometimes it's just quicker to do this. And it seems to be doing pretty good. I've I've used it on the charger, doing all the wiring on it, and I've done it on some other things too. It seems to be doing pretty good. I like it because it's a I said it's a shrink wrap and solder all at one. As soon as you start heating it up with the heat gun, she melts in there in place and you're done. Baby melt. spewing a little gas fuel pump is working uh, but it stopped I'll crank it over see what happens well, she fired up I can't believe I'm not shooting more gas than that I'm wondering if that damn thing just clogged up. I may have to take that off. Just bypass it. I was wanting to keep it on. Yeah, I'm going to end up having to bypass it. Take that and go, just go straight there. Hmm. It's kind of one of them I'll have to test drive it, but I'd rather test drive it when somebody is home to help if I break down. But she's running, so at least I can move her around. I think I'm going to take that. Uh, factory fuel filter not fuel filter fuel pump i'm gonna take it off bypass it i'm wanting to keep it on because it does have the return line on it but 
I can always uh, rig up a return line on it eventually. But this way I can eliminate that problem. I can go straight from the fuel pump to the carburetor. That way I'll be able to see if that fuel filter fills up with gas quicker. The electric fuel pump is working now, so we're good on that. It's running. So, I don't know if it was out of gas. I don't think it was. Felt like there was gas in it. I think it has something to do with that factory fuel pump. It must be clogged up or something. Oh, we'll take that off. Uh, I'm going to clean my mess up. I'll probably... Uh, yeah, I'll take it down because it's supposed to rain. I don't want water going in the back. But, alright, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Hit that